All right, how we doing guys? Welcome back to another video. This one may actually be of use to you and very useful for you. This is how you too can print your very own hardback book of your photos and get it published on Amazon absolutely at no charge. And they technically accept everybody. It's not an acceptance thing. Your stuff immediately is available on Amazon because they wanna make money and sell your books. How do you do it? Well, you have to go through the KDP system, which is owned by Amazon. And here's the link. It's kdp.amazon.com, I believe. I'll put it up there. And you go there, you gotta fill it out, you gotta sign up, and there's no charge for any of this. And then you have to produce your book. You can do it yourself. I did it myself. Had to learn how to do it, and I did it. And came up with a really cool hardback book. This is my 100, my 100 top street photos from 2021. Why did I do this and not make a bunch of prints? Because nobody wants to look at your photo album, but they will look at your book. They'll think it's cool. They'll order a copy of it, put it on their coffee table just so they can have a copy of it. Say, yeah, I know that guy. Family and friends will want you to autograph it. Very cool. How much did this cost me? This was $12.95 for one copy. You can get 100 copies, it'd be 1250 bucks. You can get one copy, it's $12.50. That's the hardback. Here's the paperback version, which actually I like a little better. I'm not 100% thrilled with the, the hardback, but it's very cool. Of course, I want it. This is the paperback version. This was about six bucks. And again, it's got all my photos in there, or my, my, what I picked as my top 100 photos from 2021. Uh, I still have to go through do 2020 and now 2019. The printing quality, fantastic. I, I'm just amazed that they do this, that they offer this service. Uh, very, very cool. Now, uh, this is the paperback version. This is the hardback version, the same size, seven by 10. The reason I did this is because this is the only size that they offered in both paperback and hardback. So I made the paperback version, then was easy enough to make the hardback version. But the hardback version, it's too small. The seven by 10 is too small. I should have did an eight by 10. This is an eight by 10 of paperback. This was just simply a roll of film that I shot. I only have about 26 pages. I think 26 pages is the minimum. You can go up to 400 pages. You have to deal with file size and all that as well. So there, there are limitations, but basically this one, which I wasn't thrilled with because uh, it was like one of the first ones I threw together. And for instance, I went through and I tried to make the photos like a full full spread like that, which, which is cool. Let me, uh, let me show you a better one here that you, okay, that, like this is an example. That's really cool, right? So, which is also the, uh, ends up being the cover as well. But, you know, like that's pretty cool, cool little spread. But then there'd be a page like, like this where there's two separate photos because I didn't use any, any borders. That's two separate photos. They kind of blend together. So you, you, you learn, uh, but I'm just playing around. So I came up with a, I didn't have that one redone. I don't like the white lettering. I do like the, I decided I like the, the red lettering versus the white. But anyway, here's one that uh, is more as my street photos from just one roll of film that I shot. And I just went ahead and put like maybe what, like four on each, you know, and then there's two that are verticals or whatever, right? Two, yeah, two different ones that are verticals there. Um, but, uh, and again, these are more or less just keepsake for me. <laughs> can, I, can I get these to where you can see them? These are kind of just keepsake photos for me uh, more than anything. But, you know, family, friends can order these. It's available on Amazon. And uh, so it's cool to be able to tell people that, hey, I've got books on Amazon, right? And nothing screams professional photographer to family and friends like having your books published on Amazon and available. Let's see, what else do I got here? Um, this is one of my favorite ones. Again, I don't like the white text, of course, but this is called the Indie Urban Southside 2022 uh, Photographs by Jason Dozier. That, that would be me. And uh, this is cool, this is all black and white. Let's see if I can show these. These are kind of cool. Uh, I went through and uh, basically I shot 20 rolls of film in 10 weeks. And I was gonna do kind of a video on every each and every roll. Uh, and I decided not to, but then I decided, you know, I'm gonna take those and, and you know, come up with the top whatever, 100 or so photos and put them in a book, and you can see the back there as well. But again, you can do these free of charge on your own. I use InDesign, that's an Adobe 
program. There's another one that's free. You have to look it up. But and um, uh, it's fun to make these. My favorite is probably this one. This is an eight and a half by eight and a half. They don't do the hardback version of this size though, which sucks because this would be perfect. And again, you just uh, you know now. I didn't, yeah, I did square my photos up in this one, so find, uh, now these aren't all black and white. Yeah, there, there's some color and stuff in there. Uh, as you can see, you know, like that, um, just, just very cool. And that's all you need, people sitting around looking at your book, looking at your photos, and uh, you know, that sort of thing. Very cool. The quality, the print quality, glossy, very, very nice. I really, really like the quality of these. And again, this is probably, couple hundred pages something like that couple hundred pages versus you know this one that's just one roll of film that the minimum's 28 pages 26 pages something like that so this was three bucks 365 something like that the hardbound book the hardbound version was 1285 that's my cost that's the they call the author's cost now the same book they make you jack up the price i think i had to charge about 29 bucks for this on amazon for me to in order for me to make like eight or nine dollars off of it they make quite a bit of the profit but honestly you, who cares i mean that's that's not why they're on there i've sold quite a few books uh, it always surprises me my very first book that i published years ago was called puche what does puche mean well it's just a stupid made-up name you know you could call it a female body part in France. I know that's not accurate, not true. It's stupid. I just, you know, whatever. I thought I was an artist. So I came up with the name Pouche. Stupid. But, you know, and friends bought the book. I couldn't believe it. My brother even, I wanted to give him a, one of the uh, copies, one of the free copies. And, and like, for instance, you'll see here, this says not for resale. This is a proof. You get to order the proof. This was $12.95. And I'm glad I ordered the proof because I don't like the size, the 7x10. So I'm going to change it. It'll take a minute, but I'm going to change it to eight and a half by 11 just to make the photos a little bigger. And, and then I will make it active and what they call live on Amazon. And then people can buy them. I also, uh, I, I did a lot of calendars. I wouldn't suggest that because basically you've got this same thing and then you pop it like, I don't have one of them. I should have one of them. Why don't I have one of them here with me? But, uh, and, and you know, like you get the picture up here and then the calendar here, right? The month. And you go through, you know, 26 pages, you got 12 months, you put a photo on top and the uh, calendar down here of each month. But, you know, uh, it doesn't hang because, of course, it's, it's not, it, it's, it's perfect bound. So it really didn't work out that well. But I put a bunch of them on there, sold a crap load of them. Some people didn't like it because they thought they were misled. And I understand, so I, I don't do the calendars really anymore. I just do the books for, for fun for me. And let's see, what else do I do? The, um, and, and you can do as many as you want. There is no limitation. You can do them on Kindle as well, make them, convert them to Kindle. It's not the easiest thing in the world. I use InDesign as the program. That's an Adobe program, and it's, uh, there's a fee for that. You can use WordPress. You can use a lot of different things. You just have to get them a PDF. So that's in the weeds. That's something you'll have to figure out. If you want me to do a video on that, let me know. I can try to explain it all. And if you just want me to do it, send me an email at this, I'll put the email address up here, and just send me an email and I will let you know, I mean, 100, 200 bucks, something like that. I'm not trying to push that. It's not a business I'm in. And, you know, that could get kind of hairy anyway. There's never such a thing as just an easy, hey, put my photos in and get it, you know, there's all kinds of problems. So at any rate, hopefully this has been helpful to get you in the right direction, to point you in the right direction and get you to the point where you can produce your own books. And again, these are fantastic, way better than just making prints, putting them in a photo album. That's great for you, but you know, over, I mean, you're the only one that's gonna see them or people directly um, in, in personal face-to-face -face with you are the only people that are gonna see your photographs in a photo album. This way, they can order them, they can get their own copies, they can have you autograph them if you want. I would suggest, now again, this is, this was like, this is the only the 20 some page. So this was probably four bucks or something. 
Whether you get 100 of them, it's $400. You get four, you know, one of them, it's $4. That's the beauty. You can order individual copies. It's so cool. And you can have your own. If you want to order some copies, pre-order them, sell them to people, you can do that. You probably make a little more money on it. But be careful because to mail an 8.5 by 11 book, especially something as heavy as this hardbound or... Uh, say as big as this. This has got a lot of pages in it. Uh, these are kind of hefty. You got to find a big old envelope or a box and, and you're talking 10 bucks or more just to mail the things. Just have them go to Amazon, order from Amazon, that's free shipping or whatever, and you get six to ten bucks for the book. It's a, it's a lot easier. You can't autograph them, of course, uh, unless you have them shipped to you first and then autograph them, ship them out. That's up to you. Charge a premium for that or something if people want the autographs. That always surprises me, but my brother always wants me to autograph it and make a note to him and all that kind of thing. And then he puts them on his coffee table and that's a lot of support. So I appreciate it, but I always feel kind of corny doing, you know, doing the autograph or whatever. So anyway, hopefully that gets you started and that gets you pointed in the right direction. Let me know your thoughts below. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. And if you have any more questions, let me know. And uh, let me know if you do good a book published and send me the link. I'll go check it out. All right, guys, I do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.